Innovative Satellite Technology Demonstration 1 is a mission to demonstrate various experimental devices and technology in space. It is the first flight in the Innovative Satellite Technology Demonstration Program, managed by the JAXA Research and Development Directorate. The mission includes several spacecraft, the largest being RAPUS-1, along with six smaller satellites. It was successfully launched on 18 January 2019. Overview Innovative Satellite Technology Demonstration 1 is a mission purposed to provide a flight opportunity for technology and ideas put forward from universities and private companies. Payloads flown on the mission will be tested in space for a year, and the operational data gained will be given to the developers. According to JAXA, the goal of this program is to test high-risk, innovative technology that will lead to the space industry gaining competitiveness in the international field. The call for proposals was announced in 2015, and selection results were announced in February 2015. A total of 14 projects were selected, however a component proposal by IHI Corporation, the demonstration experiment of an innovative ship information receiving system was later dropped, making the number of themes reaching space 13. Seven projects will be tested on board RAPUS-1, either as parts or components. Three projects are flying as microsatellites, and three more as CubeSats. The Innovative Satellite Technology Demonstration 1 marked the first multi-satellite launch by Epsilon rocket. RAPUS-1 RAPUS-1 Rapid Innovative Payload Demonstration Satellite 1 is a satellite with an innovative satellite technology demonstration 1 that will demonstrate themes that were selected as either parts or components. Of the 13 themes, 7 will be demonstrated on board RAPUS-1. The satellite was developed by Axelspace Corporation, a startup company focusing on small satellite development and application, and is the largest satellite to date the company developed. According to reports by Japanese media, the satellite was the first case for JAXA to contract a private company to manage the entirety of a satellite, from its development to its operation. Topic. Payload The Nanobridge-based Field Programmable Gate Array NBFPGA is a compact FPGA using atomic switches. NBFPGA was developed by NEC Corporation. High Data Rate X-Band Transmitter HXTX, X-Band Middle Gain Antenna XMGA, was developed by Keio University. The Green Propellant Reaction Control System GPRCS, is a propulsion system to demonstrate the use of less toxic fuel. GPRCS was developed by Japan Space Systems, a space agency under the Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. The Space Particle Monitor SPM was developed by Japan Space Systems, and is an orbital environment monitor using commercial off-the-shelf products. Most orbital measuring instruments thus far were designed for large satellites and are bulky and costly, while SPM is small, light, and inexpensive, making it suitable for small satellites to carry. According to Japan Space Systems, by monitoring radiation SPM will help determine the cause of satellite failures. The Deep Learning Attitude Sensor DLAS, is a dual-use Earth sensor and star tracker applying deep learning. Images taken will be analyzed by deep learning, and the results will be sent to ground stations, effectively conducting edge computing in space. DLAS was developed by Tokyo Institute of Technology and is aiming for commercialization. The Thin Membrane Solar Array Paddle is a thin film solar cell that will be unfolded in space. It consists of five panels, each with one-fifths the weight of traditional honeycomb rigid panels. TMSAP was developed by JAXA. 
FireAnt miniature space-borne GNSS receiver was developed by Chubu University. Topic: <laughs> MicroDragon. MicroDragon is a microsatellite proposal submitted by Takashi Maino of Keio University. Topic. RISESAT Rapid International Scientific Experiment Satellite, or RISESAT is a microsatellite developed by Tohoku University. It is equipped with scientific instruments that were selected on an international scale. The theme RISESAT was selected for in the Innovative Satellite Technology Demonstration Program is to demonstrate highly precise attitude control and high-resolution multispectral observation technology. RISESAT's high-resolution multispectral camera will be capable of measuring the growth rate and health of crops from space. RISESAT's Remote Sensing Instrument, High Precision Telescope HPT, utilizes a liquid crystal tunable filter. The project was previously called Hodoyoshi 2. AL-1 AL-1, also known as ALI, is a microsatellite for demonstrating the creation of artificial shooting stars. Built and operated by AL Co., Ltd., it is the company's first satellite. AL-1 is equipped with a DOM-2500 deorbit mechanism manufactured by Nakashimata Engineering Works, Ltd. The DOM-2500 is a membrane sail 2.5 meters times 2.5 meters large when deployed, and will be used by AL-1 to lower its altitude to less than 400 kilometers, the optimal altitude to conduct its main mission. <laughs> ORIGAMISAT-1 ORIGAMISAT-1 is a 3U CubeSat demonstrating the deployment of large structures from a small, folded state. After being launched to an altitude of 500 km, ORIGAMISAT-1 will descend down to 400 km, where it will deploy a 1 square meter membrane. It was developed by Tokyo Institute of Technology. AOBA Velox IV AOBA Velox IV is a 2U CubeSat equipped with a low-light camera. It was jointly developed by Kyushu Institute of Technology in Japan and Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. The pulsed plasma thrusters developed by NTU gives the CubeSat maneuvering capabilities, a necessity for a future lunar mission, as the Moon's irregular gravity field requires orbiters to perform orbit maintenance to extend its mission lifetime. It has a design lifetime of 12 months in low Earth orbit. <laughs> Nexus. Nexus, short for Next Generation X Unique Satellite is a 1U CubeSat developed by Nihon University. An amateur radio satellite, it is equipped with a transmitter with half the power consumption and a data transmission rate per second 32 times larger than a traditional amateur radio transmitter. Nexus will demonstrate packet radio in space. Topic. See also MDS-1 Proba missions Space test program